What's up everyone, Erica here, and I'm back today with another video for you. It's that time of the year again where I sit down and I show you guys everything that was gifted to me by my family and friends this year for my birthday. So in case I haven't shouted it out to you enough, August is my birthday month. My birthday is on August 6th. I turned 31 this year, so I am officially like in my 30s now. Not just 30, I'm in my 30s. Plural. Uh, I am a Leo, but you know, I feel like there are a lot of stigmas that come with being a Leo. Like they are dramatic, they are need to be center of attention, uh, they're dramatic, they're spoiled, demanding. I, I just don't really find those to be true. Uh, coffee. hot in here. Fan me. Okay. Oh, Ooh, thank you. That's much better. Okay. Anyway, so if you are not new to my channel and you've been familiar with my hauls or, you know, what I got for Christmas, what I got for my birthday, you will know that I am a spoiled little brat. I really am quite spoiled by not only my family, but my friends. So I'm just, I'm very blessed and I'm very fortunate. And I know that everyone tends to start off these videos with the good old, I'm not trying to brag. I'm not here to show off. I've also said, if you're gonna take this video that way, then this one's probably not for you. So you can go ahead and click on out. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna keep this intro very long because I have a lot to show you guys, to be honest with you. I, please just let this be this. I'm trying a new thing with my hair. This is my hair, kind of natural. I slept with wet hair in braids and this is what came of it. So I'm seeing if I like it or not on camera. It might be too much, I don't know. The first thing I wanted to kind of address or say is that I have three unboxings up already in August, in the month of August, uh, for unboxing birthday gifts that my friends have sent me. So I opened up a box from my best friend, Zaria. We actually did it via FaceTime. I opened a box up from my friend, Jossum, and my friend, AJ, and then another unboxing from my friend, Nicole. So those are three separate videos. So if you haven't seen those, I will leave them linked. So yeah, I'm not gonna be showing those items again because I've already dedicated videos to them, but just another quick little thank you to Syria, Jossum, AJ, and Nicole. You guys are just too much. I love you all and thank you for making me feel so spoiled, for sure. So the first items I'm gonna be going over are things that friends have gifted me that I wasn't able to unbox like on camera, so I will show those first. I wanted to set the ambiance a little bit. I've got the candle from Syria lit over there. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the gifts from my friends. So I am going to first start out with my gift from my favorite Disney damsel, Rowan. Uh, I'm sure many of you guys know who Rowan is. If not, she is one of my dearest friends, Rowan over at the Disney damsels. So she got me a gift that I don't physically have with me yet but it is because it was a pre-order item and Rowan, if there's anything you guys know about Rowan, it is that she is a shopper and she overdoes herself. And of course that stayed true for gifting me anything for my birthday, she didn't have to do anything. But what she did for me, she pre-ordered me the new Loungefly Hocus Pocus bag that was just released earlier this year. If you don't know this about me, Hocus Pocus is just, an obsession of mine. <laughs> I love Hocus Pocus. I, yeah, I'm not gonna get into all that, but I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Hocus Pocus. And uh, just recently, Loungefly came out with these bags, a Hades one, a Hocus Pocus one. And I think there was one more design, I'm not remembering it, but Rowan went ahead and pre-ordered it for me for my birthday. So she went ahead and texted me saying, hey, I got you the Hocus Pocus bag, but that's for your birthday. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Obviously, Rowan did not need to do that for me, but I'm so glad she did because I was not gonna buy it for myself. I have a very small collection of lounge fly bags, which you can kind of see them up here. I'm kind of working on shifting my Disney room around a little bit, so I will um, try to get that 
captured for you guys and show you the end result here soon but for now I'm in the process of fixing things so just trust me they're all up there so I'm excited because I'm gonna have to make some more room for my new Hocus Pocus lounge fly bag whenever it gets here so she didn't need to do anything else obviously she didn't even need to do that but she also sent me probably the cutest card I think I've ever received like in my life <laughs> look at this card you guys I'm gonna give you guys a close-up so here we have Mickey and Minnie, Pluto and Daisy, and they're just celebrating a birthday. But if you can see, the card has like gold foil on it, the banner, the characters, and the balloons are like 3D. Can you see them there? Kind of like cut out. It's just one of the prettiest cards I think I've ever received, ever. And of course, she wrote me a very sweet and thoughtful note, but this just really, like brighten my day so thank you so much Rowan. I love cards and you really you just you did too much the next item I'm gonna be talking about was gifted to me by my friend Adriana she uh, was like a little ninja and text me and she was like hey I dropped something off for you for your birthday and I was like it's very sweet very thoughtful she did not need to get me anything but again I'm so glad she did because look at this she got me this adorable Mickey Christmas, like Santa Mickey sweater. It says, I believe. And then on the side, it says believe on the sleeves, I think, right? Yeah, believe. Um, I like it because it's kind of this worn looking material. And if y'all don't know this about me, Christmas is like my jam. <laughs> I love Christmas. I have so many Disney Christmas wearables, shirts, jackets, the works i love 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 disney christmas mashups like they're just I, my jam i don't know how many more times i can say that so i was so happy that she picked this up for me i was like thank you so much it's like it's christmas and disney and she was just telling me like i love to shop for you because it's easy like she knows what i like and it's great i'm, I'm grateful that uh i guess i'm easy to shop for and my friends really just know me very well the next gift is from my friend Christine. Uh, Christine is a old coworker of mine and uh, yeah, I miss her, I miss working with her and uh, I really just miss talking fandoms with her. Christine and I share so many different uh, in same interests in fan in our fandoms like Harry Potter and Disney and The Office and that's another thing. If y'all don't know that about me, huge fans of The Office here in this household. So. Uh, for my birthday, Christine gifted me this incredible game. So it is Clue, but Office, the Office edition. And I was looking over the cards and it was just so funny. The attention to detail that they have put into this game, I'm just, I'm so ready to play it. Uh, but we definitely need a couple more people. <laughs> JD and I, we can't play Clue like just by ourselves. So we need to have some people over who are fans of The Office and let's play some Clue, man. So thank you, Christine. I can't wait to put that to very, very good use. The next item I'm gonna be talking to you about is one of those things that like, I just needed to film this haul because I want to wear it. <laughs> and I am talking about this adorable princess, Disney princess floral long sleeve gifted to me by my friend Paola over at uh, Paola Julissa, I think is her YouTube name. I think you might know Paola if you follow me on Instagram or maybe if you followed along for the Valentine's Day swap. Paola is my friend who owns the shop Visions of a Daydream. She is the one that cranks out these incredible ears. Um, but anyway, Paola has been a really great friend to me our entire friendship. So uh, I was very surprised when I received this in the mail, but it is just so cute. I like this because it doesn't scream Disney princess or it doesn't, it's not like overboard throw up in your face, Disney, Disney, Disney. So it's just a black long sleeve tee and here it says once upon a time here on above the left breast. But then on the sleeves, they have the florals for each Disney princess. So for Mulan, they have the Magnolia. Snow White, of course, is an apple blossom, a sunflower for Pocahontas, a lotus flower for Princess Jasmine, Aurora is a wild rose, Ariel is a sea flower, Rapunzel is the golden flower, of course, Tiana is a lily pad, Cinderella is a pumpkin blossom, and Belle is a rose. I believe that shirt is from Box Lunch, which I'm just a huge fan of their shirts, their designs, they're always kind of out of the box, and I really enjoy that. 
and also you know here in southern california it doesn't we don't really get like intense winters so when it does get cold a long sleeve is pretty ideal for me i don't always need like this huge jacket so i love long sleeves so thank you so much paola that was just and i she i forgot to mention she gave me a beautiful card that had like balloons and clouds in it which are just like some of my favorites and uh she said it reminded her of up so that was really sweet and in the card she <laughs> she said uh, because I never know who your favorite princess is because I change them so frequently which is true <laughs> so all of them are on there so that's awesome thank you so much Paola another gift from one of my nearest and dearest friends Liz if you guys are following me on Instagram there was like a mysterious package delivered to me and it was one of those things like uh, did I order this on Amazon or did somebody send me a birthday gift like what's going on and I had reached out to a couple of friends but I felt weird being like did you send me a gift and then have them be like oh no I didn't sorry like it was uncomfortable so I long story longer I ended up finding out uh, I posted it on Instagram like if anyone sent me a gift can you uh, let me know <laughs> So Liz was like, okay, you didn't ask everybody. It was me. So she sent me this incredible Hocus Pocus t-shirt. It is the most comfortable shirt, you guys. Like, I can't explain to you. I don't know the brand because if I did, I would buy more shirts and like, you know, do my vinyl on those on this kind of shirt because it's so comfortable. So of course, here we have our three favorite sisters, their little hair outlines, and it says, I smell children. So I have already been wearing this shirt because I'm not kidding like the it's very breathable very flexible I just I really love this shirt Liz so thank you very much why did I just talk like Bora and next I'm gonna get into all of the gifts from my husband JD he really did a phenomenal job uh, for me this year for my birthday so my birthday which actually landed on a Thursday so first thing in the morning he left and he went and grabbed me a Starbucks bless him we had chick-fil-a breakfast so that was already an incredible start to my day but he went ahead and uh brought me some flowers as well so he went ahead and just gave me a bag full of my gifts and uh, the first thing i saw was this little uh up what is this called like a card holder uh, so it has young Carl and Ellie floating in a box being held by balloons I think it is adorable and then here on the back we have it's like holographic a little bit I'm sure you guys can see and then we have um, kind of like where your ID would go there are some clouds and a little balloon hovering above it's so adorable and totally something that I will use I have one of these already uh, I think it was gifted to me uh, this past Christmas from my dad and my stepmom and I use and abuse that thing so it's kind of beat up so I was definitely needing a new one so this is going to be put to great use and I just love it and since I'm here I might as well show you guys uh, my in-laws gave me a gift card to home goods which I cannot wait to spend I haven't done it yet uh, which is surprising but um, so I can't wait to go spend that at home goods so that's that's what's in my little card holder already the next item he gifted me was this adorable friends t-shirt like i said you guys i am big on my fandoms i am definitely a uh, passionate person the things that i love i love hard <laughs> so friends being one of them we're actually currently re-watching friends for the third time he and i together let me know if you guys are a big fan of friends i we obviously love that show so i love the color it's all six of them hanging over new york city um it's very 90s like you can tell that this was early on in the show and you know that's kind of like how i remember them so i love this shirt thank you babe as you might have seen in my uh, unboxing from nicole she gifted me some really awesome heat transfer vinyl to use on my Cricut. So it was really cool that my family and my friends gifted me things to use on my Cricut and that is the same to be said for JD. He gave me a pack of these shirts to practice. Practice my Cricut making skills on. I love making shirts. I love coming up with new designs, gifting them to people. So he also knows that I like to practice because I don't want to send anything out that's I'm not proud of I guess so he was like you know just practice on these shirts and you'll get good use out of them so I was very very grateful for that so they are just a pack of uh, you know just like a regular white t-shirt that I can go ahead and put vinyl on top of 
Another gift that JD gifted me was this game. I believe it's called Geek Out or Geek Out. And I am so excited that he gifted this to me because as I just mentioned with the Clue game, I, we are just, it, it is kind of a bummer because it's just us two and we can't really play them just yet, but I love playing board games and I feel like our collection is so weak. Back when I did the Disney YouTuber board game swap that Abby and Hope organized, I was like, man, my board game collection is so weak. I need to add to it immediately. So it's kind of cool that for my birthday, I got two new board games. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, my friend Nicole said that Geeked Out is like a super fun game, but that we definitely need more than two people. So looking for applicants. If you want to come play Geeked Out with JD and I, welcome. And my big gift this year is something that isn't here with me yet. And I'll be honest with you guys, I was completely blown away when I found out what JD got me for my birthday. And that gift are these Tiana inspired Imaginex ears. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I don't know if it's tacky for me to tell you guys how much they cost. I'm sure it is, but I'll be honest with you, I still like I'm just shocked that my husband bought these. I wouldn't spend this much money on myself for a pair of ears, so I was very surprised that he did it, but it was a very, very sweet gesture. Princess and the Frog is one of my favorite movies. Tiana is one of my favorite princesses, so I've been dying for these ears. Like every time Imaginex ears post them, I just long for them, but it was one of those like mm, wishful thinking. Uh, so I was very surprised that JD got those for me. I will say I've been hearing kind of like Ugh, things about that shop because they take forever to ship um, so JD ordered these ears for me mid-July and he has not received any type of email from them yet saying you know any kind of update on them so I I mean good thing we don't have any plans to go to the parks anytime soon because I would love to wear them and I'm, I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> I'll just be here waiting uh, patiently, impatiently, to hopefully show you guys in a real video me wearing them at some point soon. So obviously, needless to say, he did a phenomenal job, but one of the best gifts that he ever could have given me. So once I was done opening all of my gifts, he grabbed one of the pieces of tissue paper that you know was wrapped up in my gifts and he put it put it over himself and he goes surprise your other gift is i took off today and tomorrow so uh, another birthday gift was that i got a four-day weekend with my entire family and that was like i was like you can return the ears okay because <laughs> having you home for four days beats any pair of ears any day even though of course he's working from home right now during the pandemic it's just nice to be able to just hang out and spend time and uh, so that was a really really special gift that he gave me so thank you honey I think that's everything I hope I'm not forgetting anything but of course he bought me like pounds and pounds of food so there's also that next I'm going to be moving on to the gifts from my dad and my stepmom and I'll be honest with y'all it's a lot so be warned one of the gifts that they gifted to me, I literally died. Um, let me just show you guys what I'm drinking my iced coffee out of. Do you see this? It is a Starbucks tumbler, but it is Minnie Mouse in Selena's purple sparkly romper dress with a matching sequins bow. So I do know that my stepmom's sister is just the queen of the cricket and literally all things crafty. She's incredible at this kind of stuff, but this just blew my damn socks off, I'll be honest with you guys. And then right here, of course, we have like a little Selena signature and then my name across the Starbucks symbol. I just love this. I She just did a phenomenal job. I'm not on this level yet, you guys, with my cricket. I'm just not but I hope to be. Sandra, if you're watching this, I aspire to be like you and do something amazing like this because I honestly can't. It's just, it's too much. It's too much, it's too cute. I figured I would just show you guys that this also came with like my array of birthday gifts. Sandra made a shirt for Juliana and it is Minnie Mouse dressed as Selena. I, it's too much. I know I keep saying it, but it's because it's very true. It's too much. Another thing they gifted me was this super awesome Toy Story t-shirt. 
uh, they came over with a bunch of little shirts for Juliana and for those of you that don't know Juliana is my daughter and she is heavy into Toy Story right now so I was just telling Saria I don't really have that much like any Toy Story merch so I love that they got this for me because I can match her now in her little t-shirts at least I have one to kind of be matching with her when she decides to wear her uh, with these roundup shirts and whatnot. They also got me one other tank top that is kind of the Fab Five, but I'll be honest, I wore that like the day that they got it for me, so it's dirty currently. The next little box of gifts that they gave me were super cute, super in theme, and I'm very excited. I Maybe I should uh, do a little photo op once I get my Tiana ears, but they gifted me these little Mickey Mouse uh, cookie cutters, which is great because I do have a Mickey silicone cutter like this size but if you can see there's a bunch of different sizes in there which I do not have uh, so I'm very excited for this but along with that they also gifted me some Cafe du Mont Beignet mix as well as their coffee grounds. JD and I do have a French press and we don't get to use it that often because we always forget to buy coffee grounds. So I'm very excited to try this. Definitely very excited to give this a try. So that's what I meant by I'm gonna have to try on my Tiana ears and make some beignets with my little cafecito and I'm really excited about this. I've never tried these. I've never tried to make them before so I might have to give it a whirl. So I'm very excited about this because <laughs> I love my coffee. I thought it was really sweet of her to send me the beignet stuff because she, I, when I was texting her after saying thank you for all these things, she's like, I know how much you've been missing Disney. So to add a little Disney magic into your days, uh, maybe you can give them a try. So I thought that was very thoughtful, very sweet. My stepmom and I share a lot of the same interests, same fandoms, that kind of thing. So I feel like it, I don't know, I could be speaking out of term or out of context, but I feel like just as I have fun shopping for her, I think maybe she has fun shopping for me. And same as my dad, my dad, I guess I'm, I don't know, I, I'm going on and on, but I guess I am a fairly easy person to shop for, but uh, I love shopping for my stepmom. She's very easy to shop for. I know the things that she likes. So I don't know, I feel like every time they get me gifts, it's just like hit, hit, hit. Like they just do such a great job. And that is to be said for the next items I'm going to show you here. Uh, they got me the pocket pop keychains from the office. So first we have Jim Halpert, we have Pam Beasley, Dwight Shrew, and the man himself, Michael Scott. So these, I don't have any of the Funko Pop keychains, so I'm obsessed with these. I love that they're just so teeny tiny. So of course I'm thrilled to own those. I think they're freaking adorable, so I can't wait to uh, figure out where I'm gonna put them. I think they're just so cute. So continuing on with the Funko theme here, they also gifted me these super awesome Funko Pops that I honestly didn't even know that these were this one was a thing So here we have Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas and she is holding her little basket that she delivers up to Jack uh, You know with like the love potion and like the dead fish Aww Romance and then here we have Jack, but it's vampire Jack So it is Jack Skellington, but he is dressed as a vampire and I love it I love it so much. I think it's awesome. I love his detailing, his little finesse. I love Funko Pop so much. You can't really go wrong with a Funko Pop for me. But there definitely are some that just make me lose my mind. Like this next one. It's Freddy Mercury. So here we have Freddy again. This is my second Freddy Mercury pop. I do know that I think they have one more of him, right? Or is there only two? So I might have all of them then because on the back of this it looks like there's only two Freddies. But anyway, if there are only two, I now have both of them. Uh, so this is Freddy in his little like checkered print romper outfit. And of course it's like all the way the front drops down to like almost his navel. So they do have his little chest hair showing. I freaking can't. He's so perfect. You guys know by now I'm sure that I just love Freddy Mercury. So very excited about that. So as you saw earlier with my uh, assistant, aka my husband, fanning me, uh, this was actually part of my gift from my dad and my stepmom. They gave me, oh I should turn it off so you don't hear that while I'm talking, uh, but this is a little handheld fan by the brand Batty B, which is the eyelash brand by Jenny69 and both my stepmom and I are huge fans of her. I think she's hilarious. She's Latina as well and she's just 
she's comical but the baddie b lashes are some of my favorite lashes i actually have only tried one pair but they are phenomenal if you guys ever see me with the ones where like i can barely keep my eyes open those are from baddie b lashes they are just my favorite uh so i was really excited because i don't think i've even paid attention that they had started selling merch so it's a cute little fan it charges with like a little usb and uh there's the first function but it goes up even higher so like if i want to have a little beyonce moment like my hair is so thick right now that it literally won't even barely blow in the wind but i can just <sighs> cool off a little bit just pray to god my lashes don't fly away with it okay you guys we're getting close to the end i promise <laughs> All right, so one of the last items that my dad and my stepmom gifted to me is in this box. If you saw my entire Disney makeup collection, you probably heard me mention this little baby, the uh, Dose of Colors and the Mickey collab that they did for his 90th. But then not long after, they did a collaboration with Minnie and I didn't get my hands on it. And I feel like uh, maybe Vettel must have watched that, which is Vettel's my stepmom. She must have watched that and paid attention and just outdid herself because in this box, it's the mini collection. So I was so, so, so excited. I, you guys know, I, I said it in the video. I love makeup. I love buying the new collections and stuff like that and staying up to date with the new makeup that's coming out but i have so much makeup you guys i can't keep buying it for myself so there are three liquid matte lipsticks so the first one is called ladies first this one is called bow to full and the last is called irreplaceable i can do some swatches here for you guys maybe let's see irreplaceable to the left to the left okay so i love i think i went on and on about how much i love dose of colors formula for their liquid lipsticks and that still remains true so here is the first shade which is ladies first look at the packaging here though you guys i'm sorry if you've already seen it but this is my first time so the packaging is like a not rubbery but the material isn't just plastic and it's a matte red and then the cap has just little mini heads over it it's just freaking adorable all right so this one is ladies first which is kind of like a i don't know i'm gonna say like a dusty pink Oh no, it's more like an actual, it's a little more like a muted pink. I will totally wear that. That is gorgeous. Bow tea full, let's do that one next. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, that one's me all day. If you guys know anything about me makeup wise, I love me some nudes. So bow tea full is already looking like my home shade. <laughs> and last but not least, we have irreplaceable. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. Okay, no singing Beyonce here, Erica. Oh, and of course, we have to have this true Minnie Mouse red, and boy, is that the shade. Okay, these are just perfect. So if you're feeling a little spicy, you can go with the red. The nude is super neutral for just like your day-to-day, -day. and the pink is when you're feeling a little flirty, a little feisty. I am loving these shades, so I'm totally gonna get my use out of that. One thing I did not expect to get in this box was a eyeliner. So I looked at this packaging, and if you can see it compared to the liquid lipsticks, it's much smaller, much thinner, so I was confused as to what this was, and it is in the shade Dazzling, and it is a, a glitter eyeliner. That's right, folks a glitter eyeliner so i was very 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 excited to see that this was in here oh my god look at this first of all let's just let's just a moment for the packaging okay look at that it's the gold glitter eyeliner but it's got minnie mouse's famous polka dots on the lid or on the cap i should say i'm gonna swatch this maybe on the bottom of this let's just see oh yeah okay i'm very very excited about this because i haven't purchased a glitter liner since like Urban Decay's however long ago, which I threw away and got rid of because it was crusty and old, so I am very excited about this. And last but not least is this adorable eyeshadow palette. It is just the mini eyeshadow palette. I don't think it has a specific name, but look at the packaging, you guys. Mini with a little bow kind of falling over her eyes, which is just too cute. So we can do a little compare and contrast here just because I have both of them. So they are just the same size, which is perfect. 
but look at how cute they are. Like they're so complimentary. So then the inside of the palette looks like this. I'm gonna try not to blind you guys with the mirror, but as you can see, there's an adorable little bow here at the top. And then here are the shades. The Mickey one comes with a highlight and this one comes with a blush. So I'm very excited about this. I gotta tell you, I am the most excited for these two shades down here. I don't have much of this kind of like orange coral color, nor do I have this kind of like hot pink. So I'm very excited for both of these. And this blush is just something that I will absolutely gravitate towards, this kind of like peach blush. Ooh, yeah. I might've went a little hard, but I kind of did it on purpose so I could really see the shade. Okay, well, it's a little much now, so I'm just gonna do the other side just so we're looking even. Kind of looking like Winifred right now, but it's okay. I'm here for it. Anyway, I am very excited to own this makeup collection because like I said, I can totally see myself getting use out of all of these lip colors, this entire eyeshadow palette, along with that glitter eyeliner. I'm just very excited for it. So the last gift from my dad and my stepmom was something that was so crazy to me that they gifted this to me. They must have just really been uh, honing in on their like Erica telepathy or something like that because it's very strange. I'll, I'll tell you why. So the gifts that are in here that I'm about to show you, two days before they gifted this to me, I sent Saria a Marco Polo and I was like, you look at these, I cannot, how pretty are they? I'm really just like obsessed with these. And um, two days later, my dad gifted them to me. So crazy. And they are ornaments from Bradford Exchange. So if, the, if you guys aren't familiar with Bradford Exchange, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know what it is. I feel like it's just an online store that sells very pretty, ornate, hand-painted kind of things like uh, ornaments or snow globes or little Christmas villages. I don't know. I, I always want something from there. Currently, I am like dying over the little Hogsmeade Harry Potter world that they have there. But this was something that I was desperately looking at. I was contemplating buying them for myself. But they are these beautiful, beautiful, hand-painted, detailed ornaments. So this one is obviously Cinderella themed. So if you can see, it is a high heel, I guess, if you can, I don't know what else you wanna call it, but on the toe we have Cinderella and she is kind of looking back for her shoe and the stairs lead up the shoe. But if you turn around on the back, up the heel is Cinderella's castle. It's just the detailing of it is so pretty. I could not get over them when I saw them in the little advertisement that I saw. So having them now, I just can't stop marveling at them and I am obsessed. I had also mentioned to my dad uh, when the when Shop Disney came out with the high heels as Christmas ornaments, I started to collect them. I bought the Alice in Wonderland one and I stopped there. I could not believe how heavy they were. I love my Alice in Wonderland ornament, but I find myself trying not to display it because I'm always worried. If that ornament falls, it's done. It droops down very far every limb that I put it on, even if it's a strong one, it always droops down and it just makes me so nervous. I don't want it to break, so I never really display it. But that is not to be said for these. These are so delicate, so lightweight, but you can just see the detailing on them. They are just stunning. And as if that wasn't enough, they also got me the Snow White one. So Snow White has been my favorite princess for such a long time. I just, it's funny because Juliana is just now so into Snow White. Last night, we almost watched it twice. She's just so into it right now. She loves the dwarves. So this one is also too much. Like it's just so cute. So in the toe part of the heel, we have Snow White and here is kind of talking to the dwarves in a little grass field. And then at the clasp of the heel, if you will, is the mirror. There's like the detailing of the forest all around and behind them. And then again, at the base of the heel leading up, there's a little staircase leading to Snow White's castle. It's just stunning. I honestly have, I'm, I'm just thrilled that he gifted these to me because I was blown away by the detailing of them and now I actually have them. So I'm so excited. I know that they do have a Princess Belle and I think a Tinkerbell one, but I honestly was like underwhelmed with those two. So it's just funny that the two that I was the most interested in were the ones that my dad and my stepmom gifted to me. And last but not least, I am moving on to the gifts from my mom. So the gifts that I received from my mom this year were just very sentimental gifts. She did give me money. 
I don't know if that's weird for me to say or not, but she did. But the gifts that she got me were just very sentimental and very sweet. So the first gift that she gave me was this little trinket tray that says, I love that you are my daughter. Uh, and it's like the little apostrophe in your is a little heart. So I love these kind of dishes. <laughs> my mom knew it like before I even said it. I was like, I like to hold my lashes in here. <laughs> Fun fact, these lashes that I'm wearing were held in here. So uh, I'm already putting it to use. I love these little things. I think they really spruce up any area of your home, in your guest bathroom, your bathroom, your makeup counter, whatever. Um, I just love these. So thank you, mom. This is very sweet. I love that I'm your daughter too. And along with that kind of sentimental gift, uh, she also gave me this little book. It's called Mothers and Daughters Are Connected by the Heart. So I like it because it's kind of a little, like a little cartoon book, but it just says things like mothers and daughters take time to gather memories together with pretty illustrations of mothers and daughters just doing things together. Sometimes just spending time together is all the therapy needed. I just, I like these kind of things and she wrote me a very, very heartfelt, beautiful message inside and these are the kind of things that I absolutely treasure. So thank you so much, mom. Uh, I know that she had Juliana and I in mind as well. So these things are very special, sentimental and all of those things for me. So I was very uh, grateful for this gift. That's gonna do it for me and my birthday haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this, uh, me showing you what I got for my birthday. Again, I really hope that none of you are out there like, okay, Erica, way to throw it in our face, you're spoiled. I, yeah, I am, I'm, I'm spoiled. Uh, my parents and my family and my friends, like I said, really just know what to get me. Um, and I'm just, I'm very grateful. I know that uh, no one has to get me anything and I, I constantly just feel like overwhelmed with the thoughtfulness and the love that uh, is shown to me. So thank you if you're watching this and you gifted me something that I talked about. Just thank you so much. Uh, and of course, I really just have to thank all of you watching. If you took any time out of your day to wish me a happy birthday, whether that was on YouTube, on Instagram, Facebook, if you text me, any anything, anything, any way at all, if you wish me happy birthday, please know from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it. I felt so loved and so special that day. So just thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. That's gonna do it for me. As always, I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and I hope to see you back for the next one. Bye. Uh... How many of you guys used to do that when you were little, sing into a fan? No? Just me? Cool.